Commanders morning, Tlantla Lux, just a quick one. So regarding this nonsense shutdown of Julius Malema and the EFF, I just want to give you the latest update that I got from people inside EFF at the very top. I said to me, Lux, you know, we support you. We support you even though our guy has a, has a big ego and can't admit when he's wrong. We can't have this thing uh, planned in our name and it has potential of anarchy but in any in any case i want you to know these are my guys now i want you to know that julius chose the 20th of march strategically the 20th of march because it's a monday and the next day the 21st of march is a holiday so he's trying to piggyback on the fact that when the holiday is on tuesday most South africans would rather take leave so that have they have an extended long weekend and now he wants to take that type of energy and try and make it his own energy. It'll never work. It'll never work um, because if you were a real leader and you claim to be the leader of society, Julius would have chosen a real day free of anything, whether the day before or the day after, there's nothing 100% guaranteed. And show us the power you claim to have, that you, you are the leader of society, you can, you can co command society to go left and it goes left. And again, if, the, if you are the leader of society, society would have voted for you to be president. So I think Julius must stop drinking and coming to public and addressing things. It doesn't, it's not a good look. It's not a good look at all. But as for the 20th of March, um, my message is very clear. Julius and his people will be arrested if they don't work within the boundaries of the law. It's simple. This South Africa, we are not going to choose who the laws, um, who, who must follow the law and who mustn't follow the law. The law is there for everyone to follow. The era of politicians thinking that they are above the law is over. I'm going to be there to arrest Julius, not personally. And I will be there with the president of this country without him saying anything. Because we are tired of all people allowing Julius to be the king of disrespect culture, of anarchy culture. Julius has called every president we've ever had since 1994. He's called him names and has called him Borango, meaning big nose, big head. This the young, young kids are watching. Julius is responsible for corrupting the minds and polluting the minds of your, your young kids listening. Even yes, you in the EFF. Julius is making it normal for kids to go to school and shout at teachers and tell teachers, hey, you big head, don't tell us. Because Julius is making that fashionable, the disrespect of old people. We're not going to tolerate that. We're going to deal with Julius through and through. The, the time for, for proper South Africa, better South Africa has arrived. You're not going to, to tiptoe around Julius or any other politician for that matter. So my message for the 20th of March, right? This date, this week date that Julius has chosen, hoping, hoping, that South Africans will take a long uh, weekend and it will look like he's the one that made people stay at home when it's actually a norm from our traditions and cultures here in South Africa that if Tuesday is a holiday, Monday, somewhat 50% of our people choose to take holiday on, on that day and things generally are slow. It's, it's, it's like Mon the Monday is the holiday. So Julius mustn't come here and try to trick people. There's no trick of anything. Julius doesn't have the power he claims to have. He's not the leader of society. He's the leader of the EFF. And the EFF is a serious small minority in this country. No disrespect to EFF members. Rakao Fela. A lot of, some of them are my friends. No problem. But I have to say it the way it is. Julius, Julius Malema is a non-entity in the political space. He's a, non a serious non-entity. Because if he had the value that he thinks he has, he would actually be the president or at least very close to being a president of this country. So we're not going to listen to Julius. We'll continue to listening and supporting the government of the day, the, the leadership of the day. We won't disrespect the leadership. We'll always fight our battles within the boundaries of the law. We'll always fight our battles within the, the, the necessary respect for all, the, for, for, for all our elders and so that we can set the, a proper culture, destroy that culture of Julius Malema's era where they think noise is intelligence. It doesn't mean the louder you speak or it doesn't mean the more noise you make is the smarter you are. I know that's how you are conditioned back in your day with politics because you know you had to be taught how to sing so that you can try to be popular. But the, the time is different. The young kids are qualified. They are, they are, edu they are educated. They, they need to be stimulated with, with intelligent content. So it's, it's a pity that people like Julius come from an era where that can't, be, can't even be a thing. So 
without me sounding like I'm attacking the man too much, I think the point has been made. On the 20th, those who are sane, which is the majority of this country, I want you to go out and protect the shops. Protect the shops, protect the malls as per normal, take formation as we always do in our townships, in our suburbs, South Africa, protect everything because we are not going to allow these anarchists to collapse our economy here in South Africa. They can do what they want to do, but as long as the basics are protected, I will make sure that I put the police um, under serious pressure. But I know they don't even need me for that pressure, but I'll be there to arrest these, these anarchists and these nonsense politicians who can't get their way in parliament, who can't get their way legitimately and now want to do it uh, from an anarchy and an illegal point of view. It's fine. Let, let them try. South Africa is a, is a country with, with sober people and it's a country with people who know what they, what they need for today so that tomorrow can be better for all of our kids. So with that said, don't forget, take formation, plan now, protect your shops, make sure that you come together in your WhatsApp groups, in your communities, you speak about this. You say, how do we make sure that if there's any criminal element that creeps in, how do we protect our own communities, our own families, our own houses, and so that come the 21st, we celebrate the holiday, forgetting about what the, the EFF or Julius Malema was trying to attempt. Uh, with that said, Atlanta Lux, Commander's Morning. Enjoy your morning. Um, Today, the date is the date is the 24th, and it's a Friday, and I'm going to attend an EFF case um, uh, at Rodiport Magistrate Court where the EFF is sponsoring a case against me in protection of a drug dealer who, who says I apparently stole 300 rands uh, from his house when it was raided by, by um, uh, the community because the community was was tired of people that are selling drugs in the communities and so uh, registered much went there with the police and i was the only one isolated singled out who apparently went in the house and stole the trends that time i didn't even enter the damn house but it's okay this is my day and i'm going to beat the eff in court today no problem because the truth will always prevail and the truth will always win Atlanta lux for better south africa commanders money